Hi everyone, Tony from Hack the Movies here, and today I'm going to do a trailer reaction to Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power from Amazon Prime Video. If you know this channel well, you'll know that our Fellowship of the Ring episode is probably, it's in our top 10 most watched videos on the channel, so you have probably know my thoughts on Fellowship of the Ring, but I actually really love all the Lord of the Rings movies, not so much The Last Hobbit movie but i'm interested to see what amazon can do with the franchise i don't have high hopes obviously uh but we'll see we'll see let's 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 go through this trailer i've legitimately not seen this yet so okay. big battle that that guy's yelling is that galadriel speak your truth speak your truth is the lyric in the song. Look, I don't care. But I feel like the people making these trailers custom put stuff in them that they know assholes on YouTube will bitch about. <sighs> okay, this girl, Galadriel. It's weird. I fired up Photoshop the other day. And the the little image that shows up when you're about to load the app it showed some woman, and I thought it was like a superhero. And then uh, my friend Justin pointed out that it's the girl from this show. It's the first time I've ever seen Photoshop's like opening graphic when you start up the app used as an advertisement for a show. So just wanted to mark that. I just wanted to note that. That was weird. Okay, there's a dwarf. Oh, is that Sauron? I know Sauron is like a pale, skinny little boy. The locations look nice. The makeup's okay for the most part. Visually, it kind of looks like Lord of the Rings. Oh, and hobbits. You got hobbits in there. I like we're seeing a lot of the oceans of Middle-earth in this. Gladriel jumping on the mountain. First off, look fake as hell. Two, it remind me of uh, the new Tomb Raider games. I'm currently playing, replaying Rise of the Tomb Raider. So, I'm struggling to find things to talk about in this. They just clothesline a bunch of orcs and they fell like dot. They, hold on. Did they just clothesline like a bunch of orcs and it made them all fall like dominoes? That's hilarious. Without it, what am I to be? Okay, so... I will say the trailer is not terrible. Um, Didn't really do enough to grip me in. It doesn't look as exciting as the previous Lord of the Rings stuff we've seen. But other than the stupid song, uh, which I think was put there to have a phrase that they knew people on YouTube would cry about. Uh, the song does feel out of place. But... I don't know. The trailer looks okay. I'm still not really excited for this show. Uh, I know I'm an apologist for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and J.A. Boyona, I think was his name. The director of that is working on this. So maybe there'll be something that I like in it that everyone else will think is stupid. Just like Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm not really sold on the Galadriel girl. She was really... She's not really giving me Kate Blanchett vibes, uh, which I mean is, what are you going to do? It's a different actress. They're putting their own stamp on it. They have different direction. I'm not even sure if this is even in continuity with the films. I'm still not really sure about that. I mean, visually, it looks like it is. It looks, why wouldn't it be? It's set far enough in the past where it doesn't really have to contradict anything. Uh, so why not be in that universe? Unless they really want to build up to Tom Bombadil. I don't know. But yeah, uh, I wish this trailer just came out first. Everything else we've seen before this looked real cringe. Like there was that character trailer that people added Young and the Restless music to. Uh, the posters were really bad. Everything looked really bad before this trailer. Now I'm having second thoughts. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I look. 
Lord of the Rings, the movies are very important to me. I really like the series. I only read two of the books, The Hobbit and The Fellowship of the Ring. So maybe I'm not the authority on it, whether this is good or not. Uh, I will be reading uh, The Two Towers soon because in December, we're going to review The Two Towers. And I think we're going to review this show in November after it's like finished airing. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Check out our main show. If you haven't watched it or you're new here, uh, go check out the Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring talking about tapes episode. That's actually a really, really fun one. It's long, but we had a lot to say in that episode. And yeah, how do you feel about Rings of Power? Do you think it looks cringe? Is it woke? Uh, or does it look actually good? Are you actually excited for this? Do you think they actually put a lot of, well, obviously they put a lot of money in it, but I, most of that I think was just to buy the franchise rights. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think about this. Cause now I'm unsure. I was against f based off everything I was seeing before. Now I'm kind of like, okay, I'll give you a shot. Let me know what you guys think. And, uh, yeah, like share and subscribe. Goodbye. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page.